Hey, this is Elijah from Breakdance, and in today's video, we're gonna take a look at the new vertical layout option for the menu builder. I've already imported a basic content layout from our Samba design set, and now I wanna put a vertical menu in this left-hand area. So let's go ahead and add a menu builder element. So I'll click add and search for menu and choose the menu builder element. Now I can go ahead and turn on keep menu selected while styling, which will avoid us selecting any of the sub elements in the menu builder when we're clicking around and toggling the dropdowns. Now let's jump over to the design tab and turn on the vertical layout option. There are a few different vertical modes, but for this example, we're gonna use the accordion mode. Now we do need to adjust some styles, so let's open up our link options, typography, and let's set our links to a white, and then let's go back, and we're gonna adjust the styles on the dropdowns now. Let's open up the column settings and set the column titles to our brand color. Let's close these out, and then next, we're gonna go ahead and actually, before I move on from the dropdowns, I do need to set these column wrappers to have no border radius to ensure the styling all looks okay. So let's close all of that out, and then let's set open dropdowns on click. This will make sure that these dropdowns are not triggered on hover since it's gonna be a vertical menu, and we don't want them activated when someone just mouses over them. Now you can kind of see what this looks like. Let's go ahead and toggle these dropdowns and it looks fantastic, but we do have a few cleanup items we wanna do here. So let's turn off this keep menu selected while styling option. That way we can choose our dropdowns and get rid of some of these extra columns that we don't need. So we'll get rid of that column and then we don't need this dropdown. So we'll just get rid of the whole dropdown in that case. Now for our last little bit of tweaking, we are going to add a cool sticky effect to this. So we'll go to settings, animations, and choose sticky, and we'll set the position to top, and then we'll set the offset to 32 pixels, just because we're gonna have the WordPress admin bar at the top of our page on the front end. So let's go ahead and save that and jump up to the front end and see what the result looks like. So now you can see this is a layout like you might use for documentation or a knowledge base. We have this nice vertical menu with an accordion effect. And if we scroll down, that menu sticks with us as we scroll through the content on the right side of this columns layout. So again, this is Elijah from Breakdance and that's how to use the new vertical menu layout option for the menu builder in Breakdance. Thanks for watching.